Hey guys, so uh, I've heard about this crazy rumor about Slender Man, and it's really late at night. And 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 I was so I was thinking, I was thinking, I was I was thinking, so I was thinking like if, if that's just real, right? I was thinking, what if one day, oh my fucking god! Oh, I get the joke. So, creepypasta. Allow me to take you back to 2012 before we start. So I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And I was on the internet. A little earlier than I needed to be. I played free Star Wars games, early Roblox, and otherwise just browsed through the golden age of YouTube. Until... Nah. I grew a liking towards this in a very strange way. So I discovered creepypasta while looking through the internet rather on YouTube or as an ad, and I discovered Slenderman in the seven pages. But my eight-year-old pussy ass didn't play it though. Instead, I looked into it further as it was something new to me and something I could experience for the first time. I mean, I did kinda play Slender. I literally do, I see you. I don't see you. Good, keep it that way. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry, worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> Oh God! It's it. It's it. You a world we live in? You are oh shit! My You're the prop. One desire when I say, I say that I, I am I, slender. Ah <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Quit playing with me. Sorry, dog. You know how it is. Shit. It is, it is. I ain't, I can't even be mad. That's just the game. <laughs> I'm just gonna go lead you to the other people, bro. I don't want to. I fuck. I went through Mr. Creepypasta on YouTube and uh, uh, I was looking into the Russian sleep experiment creepypasta while writing this video. Actually, that was that was pretty cool. Anyways, him. I believe I grew a liking towards Jeff the Killer. What I didn't understand. I didn't know why. He has my profile picture on my old channel, I dressed up like him on Roblox, I listened to the stories. I basically just said he was one of my favorite characters, but I'm pretty sure 9 slash 10 year old me had some type of crush on the character. I'm sorry Reddit. Truthfully, there is- he is not sexy, but when I was 9 I guess I found something special in him. And Smile Dog used to scare the shit out of me, specifically this photo. Before I show it, this is your warning if you're sensitive. One, two, three. This photo. Now it just looks fucking funny. Bro looked like he got a diamond grill on, on some like, my shiny teeth and me head ass. It's kinda cold though, shout out this husky. So creepy pasta. On Roblox back in 2013, I made a group called the Creepy Pastas. I had two games of many, The City Destroyed by Doge, previously Slenderman City, and Find the Jeff the Killer Badge, which was previously for the Creepy Pasta group. Both on Roblox obviously, because this was like my virtual hometown. Let me show you. Okay, so we got uh we got Slender Man. That's crazy. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Uh, I I do not know what this is supposed to be. I'm gonna keep it a Virgil. I okay. Okay, so here we have uh, the infamous Slender Man. Slender Man R. Tender Man. Enderman. Friender. Friend. Friender Man. Slender Mon and uh, and Slender Son. Uh, Jane and uh, ja uh, Jeff the Killer. They have some very nice fa uh, they have some very nice facial expressions. I have the same exact role of people. Let me reintroduce them in case you forgot. Uh, Slender Man, Slender Man, Tender Man, Ender Man, Friender Man, Slender Mon. Sl My classic creepypasta group would hold meetings every Wednesday. Why Wednesday? Because back in elementary school we would leave on Wednesdays an hour early. So I decided we would hold hour long creepypasta meetings on Wednesdays. What happened there? I couldn't tell you. Right, so to my memory, my friend, uh, my friend Regid and I, actually, Regid was probably the, my first really close online friend, and my first really online friend ever that was long term, and him and I built a city together, but I, I do not see a city. Um, so uh, the spawn point is Jeff the Killer, uh, very predictable. Pasta, Action Dude 13 rules, very awesome, very awesome. Homestuck. I used to be a Homestuck fan. Uh, here we have a loop what used to be probably a penthouse is now destroyed to the likeliness of nine-year-olds yeah. Inside we have water. We have someone named Jeff's trusted bodyguard uh, We have Jeff in disguise, which looks nothing like Jeff uh, We have another one of Jeff's trusted bodyguards. I do not recognize who this is 
Um, here we have probably me saying hi to my past selves, and now it's seven years later. Hi to uh, young you. This shit is awesome. Hold on. Oh no, that was so scary, and I'm very scared. I had my face come back on some Jesus shit back in 2017 with some I just wanna have fun's animation memes. Cause they went hard as fuck. No, for real, they were actually crazy. It's nice to know that a fandom like this is still striving in some type of form. And no, I didn't write any fan fiction or anything weird like that. But hey, also, I should probably get to playing this game. Sorry for the shorter video this time, I've been uh, very demotivated lately, but you know, Happy spooky season, shout out to Creepypasta, and uh, I love y'all. I also forgot to mention, but I would like look at the, the Rainbow Factory Creepypasta from like MLP, and then also like I would watch the like anime, like MMD dance videos for Creepypasta. It was a very dark era of my life. <laughs> I had a creepy pasta song in the outro. It got copyrighted. I need the money. Blah blah. Pretend this is a spooky song or something. Cause I need the money. And I need the money. Why is Painted Smile copyrighted? I don't know. Uh, but.